Hi preschoolers, it's teacher John here and today is Wednesday today. Wednesday, one of our days of the week friends. Happy wacky Wednesday today. Oh, did, did I hear you right? You see Mr. Caterpillar somewhere? Where, where, where is he? Oh hey, there he is. Well hey there Mr. Caterpillar. What brings you to our morning message today? Oh, that's a great idea, Mr. Caterpillar, for a morning message. Hey, thanks for letting me know. Preschoolers, I have a very exciting morning message. Mr. Caterpillar, remind me, it's a special day today. Hey, thanks, Mr. Caterpillar. Oh, yeah, sure, I'll get your house. He says he kind of needs a nap. A little tired. There you go. Boop. Awesome job. Thanks, Mr. Caterpillar. All right. Maybe I'll let him take a nap. <laughs> He's been working hard today. All right, friends. Are you ready for our morning message? We have our ears on and our eyes are watching the board. It's a special day today. All right. Start in the top left corner, preschoolers. I'm going to write very carefully. Can you see? I'll try to stay out of the way for you. Am I gonna make it? I did. All right. I got my first sentence in. Let's do our second one. Here we go. I'm gonna start back over here on the left side. Okay. Writing my letters. There it is. Love, Mr. J. All right, friends. Teacher John will go first, and then you can try to figure out what our morning message says. Happy Wednesday. Okay, your turn. Happy Wednesday. Great job. I heard all of you. Good work. Today is day. Okay, your turn. Today is, hmm, what does that look like, friends? Yeah, octopus day. It's an octopus. It's octopus day, friends. Oh, I'm so glad Mr. Caterpillar reminded me. Octopus day. Today is all about celebrating a very special creature that lives in the ocean. And he has eight te tentacles and he swims around and catches his food with suckers on the ends of his tentacles. He's also got a really good nose. One of his very important senses to smell his food and he uses his really good sight to see his food to catch. Yeah, friends, what a wonderful day to share with all of you. All right, let's jump into our letters. I'm gonna need your help to erase our board. Here we go. See the button? Okay, here we go. Doo -doo -doo. All right, great job. Ready for letters? Letters, letters, letters have names. What is the name of this letter? Circle around and come up. Circle around and come back. Oh, 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 oh. O is the name of this letter. And what sound does O make? Yeah, it's the first sound in ah, ah, octopus. Ah, octopus. Great job. Let's do another one. Letters, letters, letters have names. What is the name of this letter? All right, here we go. Go down straight. Pull forward and come back. Pull forward. Pull down straight and pull, pull forward. R, 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 R. R is the name of this letter. Great job. And what sound does R make? 
Ooh, ooh, ar, er, rain. Yeah, wonderful job, friends. Hey, we have three new words for our story today. So why don't we jump right into our story? Okay. All right. We have our wonderful story, friends. Join in and play. Yeah. Where all of our friends have been doing a wonderful job learning to play together. Let's check out our three new words today, friends. First one is share. Share is to use or enjoy something together. Share. Could you pretend to share a ball? Share. Yeah, great job. This one is listen. Listen, paying attention to the sounds you hear. We listen with our ears. We've heard that word before, haven't we? Yep, listen with our ears. And this one is friend. Friend, somebody you like, right? It's your amigo, your friend. You can pretend you're putting your arm around your friend. Great job. All right. Let's see if you remember our words. Learn. Learn is to find out or to get to know about something, right? We learn with our brain. Speak. Speak. It's to, to talk. Speak, right? Can you speak with your hand like a puppet? Yep. Invite. Invite, to ask in a polite way to go somewhere or to do something. Invite, right? Can you invite nicely with your hand? You Would you like to come and hang out, right? Or to play? Invite. Finished. Finished, to be done with something, right? Like you finished a race. Woohoo! Play. Doing something for fun. Play, right? Can you pretend you're dribbling a ball? Play, yeah. Polite. Polite is when you use good manners, right? Can we say thank you with sign language? Polite, yeah, thank you. Good job. All right, friends, let's jump into our story. Join in and play. I like to play, and I can do lots of things alone. Sometimes I'd rather play with a friend, right? A friend. When I see someone I like to play with, I can walk up and smile as I say hello. The person might be looking for a friend too. She's saying hi, right? She wants to play, one of our words. I can tell something about me or ask a question. And I can listen. What are you drawing? A, a boat. I can answer in a nice way. Sometimes my friend invites me to play alone. Do you want to draw too? It looks cool. I can also ask to play. I might think of a way to join in. Can, can I play? She's using her words, like a big preschooler. When I ask to join in, people might say no, and I can ask again later, or I can look for a different friend to play with me. If I need help joining in, I can ask a grown-up. Can I play too, she's saying. I can invite someone to play with me. I can tell my ideas and listen to other ideas too. When we share ideas, we are cooperating, right? Cooperating. Yeah, I can invite, right? Invite. She says, do you want to play Duck, Duck, Goose? He says, okay, can I be it first? I can play with more than one friend. My friends can too. I want everyone to get along. Yeah, it looks like they're all getting along. 
when things don't go well for someone else, I can say something kind. You can play with me, right? This girl here, she doesn't seem to know how to play very nice. No. A person may do something that I don't think is fair. I can say how I feel. And she's saying, I am using it now. If I also listen to how the other person feels, we may solve our problem. She says, I want to turn. Okay, I'm almost done. Wow, that's been a big preschool. I can play fair and follow the rules. I can listen and speak kindly. I can share and wait my turn. I can show respect. When I join in and play, I can make friends by being a good friend. Yeah. Preschoolers, is it hard sometimes to be a good friend? What do you think? Yeah, sometimes it is. Sometimes we wake up in the morning, and we don't feel like ourselves and we're kind of grouchy. And we don't like to talk to many people or sometimes we're kind of hungry, and that can make it hard to be a good friend, too. And other times, you know, we may want to have something that someone else has. And it's hard to learn to share for others. That's why we're practicing these things. So you know what? So then you can be a good friend and a good preschooler. You're already doing a wonderful job. So, you know, keep it up. We're all super proud of you. Hey, let's look at our words. Let's see how fast you can go. How fast can you go? How fast can you go? Let's say some words that we know. Hey, thanks for singing. Are you ready? Here we go. Polite. Play. Finished. Learn. Speak. Invite. Friend, listen, share. Wow, you're doing a wonderful job learning your words, friends. Hey, have a wonderful day today. Happy Octopus Day, Octopus Day. All right, and try to get outside in that sunshine. Okay, friends, we'll see you again. Okay, bye-bye.